Did your son run away? He learned I had contacted Sir Thrask. He felt I betrayed his trust. He thinks he can live free of the Circle. But I am afraid without proper training, he'll kill himself. What exactly do you need me to do? Just find him, please. Bring him somewhere safe. I don't know where Fainrail has gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainrail's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainrail might have sought him out. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. Magic can be a fearful gift. Your son deserves the best aid learning how to manage it. My husband Wesley was a Templar. They're not all fanatics to be feared. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. Please, Sir Trask. The priest won't was asking after you again. <laughs> But it's the only place. There twice this year. you want from us? You're so lucky. How do you figure? I would have loved to have a brother, and a mother, and an uncle. It must be wonderful. So I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just put something towards food. We found the will. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Here, read it. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter, Leandra, and all children born of her. The estate in Hightown and all associated revenues. We have a home, Mother. A real home. They forgave me. Mother forgave me, but... Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is! 
You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! I can't believe Gamlin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I would never turn against you. You're a better person than Gamlin could ever be. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. I wish they had lived long enough to see us come home. Home. That's what it is, isn't it? I like saying that. We're not running away again. We're coming home. Are you unhappy here? I wish I could do more for Mother. Carver's death. It's killing her slowly every day. But maybe if we can reclaim some of what she lost, it will help. I'd do anything to get us back a normal life. We are going to make this our home, Bethany. I promise you. I hope so, brother. I'm so very tired of running. I found this when we were at the estate. I thought you should have it. Is it? I think this is Mother's betrothal portrait from when she was supposed to marry the Comte. Look! You can see the ring. You like it? I love it. My whole life, Mother's always been so sad and worried. All because of my cursed magic. I always wished there was some way to take that burden off her. It's nice to have a reminder of a time when she still knew how to smile. One scrubbing brush, never used.
Do you ever wish you lived in? Great heavens. You know what horrors are for? It's cramped. Dog shit. And every person there thinks he's better than you because his great-great-great-grandfather made a water clock or something. They're your people. Don't you even wonder what it would be like? I have a good imagination. You look like a man who'd be interested in the finest Antivan steel to grace his hand. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free marches. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. Son? I have never had that privilege, Serra. My poor wife, she's back in Antiva and cannot see me often with my travels. Please, Serra. I know you must fear for Fainriel, but we mean him no harm. Hard to tell in this city who means who harm, no? Perhaps you can set his mind at ease. We are no friends, Sarah. You'll find no better friend to a young scared mage. Maldición, you are a mage. I suppose you'd be kind then to a boy who resists being taken in by Templars? Of course. The boy's in over his head. So I send him to the only man I know who doesn't despise mages. A former Templar named Samson. Why would a Templar help him? His conscience plagues him, having served the Templars too long. He now helps mages on the run. He stays out of sight during the day. At night, he stays near Darktown. That's the best place to find him.